One of the things that makes learning English difficult is that we have a lot of helping words like you know, have, is, are, would that have different meanings and different uses. And the same word will get used in very different ways in different contexts. And would, for example, has at least four di very different meanings. We can use would to describe a repeated action in the past. For example, when I was a kid, we would visit my grandparents in the country every New Year. Every time I saw them, they would give me gifts. Um, this is the same meaning as used to. With these sentences, you could also use used to. When I was a kid, we used to visit my grandparents in the country every New Year. Every time I saw them, they used to give me gifts. Another completely different way we use the word is in polite requests. So when someone says, would you close the door, please? Or would you give me another few days to finish my paper? You're asking the person to please do this, and the would is a way of saying please. Another use of would, which we are going to study later in this course, is un unreal conditional. If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? I would go to Europe, okay, or I would buy a house. If I had more money, I would get a new car. This is dreaming about something that isn't real, and I use would to describe what I'm dreaming about. And the last thing that is a very common use of would is it's the past of will for indirect speech. Or some people think about this as the future in the past. He said that he would be here. Okay, what he actually said is, I will be there. But when we do it in reported speech, this verb has to match the reporting verb said, and the will becomes would. And later in this reading, you'll have this sentence, Weinlich knew when his wedding would be, but he didn't know who his bride would be. And this is the reporting verb in the past tense, so will becomes would.